You know, we mentioned uh, briefly off the top here that uh, the three of us in this room, myself, uh, Jonathan, Rob, we all went at different times to the John Williams, the maestro of the movies concert at the Hollywood Bowl. Now, this is a concert that John Williams, of course, the goat of goats when it comes to, to music in movies. He's done everything from the memorable scores of Jurassic Park, Jaws, Harry Potter, Indiana Jones, Superman, and of course... Star Wars. And he does a concert every year at the Hollywood Bowl. I have a feeling this was his last. I don't think we're going to see him again next year. He is he now did 90. say we were supposed to meet him there for his 100th. Yeah, he said, we got to come back for our, for my 100th birthday and do this again. But anyway, so I've been going for like seven years in a row to this concert. I'm sure a bunch of people have been going to it longer than that. So, of course, he goes through, plays a lot of the classics from other films that he didn't even compose, but that he just loves. A bunch of music from his films. The Harry Potter section got a lot of people very excited when he did that. Of course, all of his Star Wars stuff people get excited about. But then he pulled a little bit of a surprise. And he basically mentioned, you know, I'm currently scoring Indiana Jones 5. And he'd been working with Harrison Ford for a long time. And he said last week... I played one of the pieces for our director, James Mangold, of course, the director of Logan, uh, who is now directing this episode to this uh, Indiana Jones 5. And he said, and James Mangold says to me, that's great. Play it at your Hollywood Bowl concert next week. He said, wait, but this movie doesn't come out forever. He goes, yeah, yeah, just go ahead and play it at the Hollywood Bowl next week. So John Williams says, here's your first look or listen, if you will, to uh, something from Indiana Jones 5. And they played Helena's theme which is uh, Bridge Waller's theme Phoebe character. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, yeah. Um, or, yeah, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, thanks. It's, it's her theme, and he talks about the character a little bit. He said she's a completely adventurous, but also classic Hollywood femme fatale <laughs> and all this kind of stuff. And then he played the music. And I think, Jonathan, you were pointing out that in the music, you could hear a little bit of Marion's music yeah. in that, too. Just I little heard, overtones oh, little of Little overtones of it, yeah. yeah. Which For I sure. think was really nice. Anyway, in years past... John Williams has resisted the temptation to play pieces from upcoming things that he had, but this was a really nice little treat to get that. And I enjoyed it. And the concert itself was amazing. Anyway, Rob, you were there. You got to hear him play this. Were you shocked to hear him do that? And what do you think about the piece? Well, first of all, I wasn't shocked because I had people have been posting it before I went. So I knew that he was going to play it, but it was, I thought it was beautiful. I mean, it was classic. It felt very sweeping and romantic. You know, it felt like something from his Sabrina score or something. And yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I really liked it. I mean, it really felt classic Hollywood. I mean, it was not an action cue because or the Raiders March, which we got later. But it was I just thought it was a beautiful piece of music and really lush. It really used the whole orchestra. And I'm like. This is the first indication we've had of any of this movie. Other than, yeah, that is actually than, real. Other than spy <laughs> photos and, and you know, whatever. This is another movie where it seems like it's been in production for 10,000 years. And we're, like you said, the tangibility of something. And the tone of this, I'll tell you something. It felt, it felt like it was, uh, if this makes any sense, a piece of music for adults. Mm. You know, it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't some swashbuckling, even though they played... Horngold score from the adventures of Robin Hood at the top of the program. I thought that the, I thought it was really great. Yeah. I loved hearing it. Anyway, Chris, you know, you heard me doubt the existence of this thing. But uh, yeah, for, for this has been actually, your flash. This is like, yeah, I've, <laughs> I've also been working on the flash, but I can't play anything. <laughs> I can't for play you. that music. But I mean, what do you think about them coming out early and start dropping things like this for, for a movie that's still quite a ways out? I mean, it's a big vote of confidence, right? To just give everyone that sneak peek, that sneak listen to. And I love that they did it for Phoebe Waller-Bridge's character too. We all know her so much from her work in comedy, right? Fleabag, things like yeah. that. Um, but she's also had great turns on Broadchurch. So for her to play this femme fatale character, this classic like 1950s starlet kind of role, I'm really excited. And it's, it is very romantic, beautiful music. The clip that's leaked online is really lovely. Yes. Yeah. And it was awesome being there and listening to it in person. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Have you had a chance to see the clip? What did you think about this piece from the master himself, John Williams? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, we want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. Now, I started taking Athletic Greens because I don't eat enough vegetables, and I was looking for a way to make up for that deficit in my diet of those vitamins and minerals that I really need in my system, and thank goodness I found Athletic Greens, and I literally take it every morning. 
You see, with one scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods, source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, all the things. And my wife got onto it, and now she absolutely loves it. You know, tons of people take some kind of multivitamin, and it's important to choose one with high-quality ingredients that your body will actually actually absorb like athletic greens. So right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with a convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into the flu and cold season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash campia. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash campia to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance.